A word problem on age. A man 39 years old has a 19 years old son. How many years ago was the father six times as old as his son? So we are given the current age. So we say now, let's say father and son. So now father is 39 years old and son is 19 years old. It says how many years ago? So whenever it is ago, it is negative, right? You have to take away those many years. They'll be younger, right? So we don't know how many years ago. We say let it be x years ago. So we say minus x. Minus x. x is our variable. So it's so many x years ago we can say. We can say x years ago. What is the scenario? X years ago, their age will be how much? It be take away X, right? They'll be younger by X years. So that is their age X years ago. Now the question says, how many years ago was father six times as old as his son? So how many years ago was father six times son? That gives us the equation. And the equation is 39 minus X is the age x years ago should have been 6 times age of sun 19 minus x right so that is how we get our equation so remember if it is ago you have to take away those many years if it is afterwards you add those many years now solving this equation you should get your answer right so let us solve this equation and find the value of x which will be the number of years ago, right? So we get 39 minus x equals to 6 times 19. 6 times 20 is 120. Take away 6 from 120. You get 114 minus 6x, right? Or 6 times 9 is 54. 5 plus 6 is 11, right? So that is how you get it. Now you can bring the variables together 6x minus x equals to 114 take away 39 5x equals to so 114 take away 39 so let's borrow so get 5 and then from 10 it is 7 so it is 75 x will be equals to 75 divided by 5 that gives us 5 times 1 and then 25, 5 times 5. So 15 years ago. So 15 years ago, father was 6 times the son. So the answer is 15 years ago. So what you can do is you can check. So if I take away 15 from here, what do I get? If I do 19 minus 15, this is equal to 4, right? And 39 minus 15 is equal to 16. So, 24. Right? 9 take away 5, so 24. And clearly, 24 is indeed 6 times 4, right? So, 24 is equal to 6 times 4. So that is correct, right? So that is how you can check your answer also. I hope that helps. Thank you.